So when you watch medical TV shows, do you ever wonder how doctors learn to do surgery, put in an IV, or manage a trauma victim in the ER? Well, it was mostly on-the-job training until now. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how high-tech simulation labs are changing the way doctors are taught. Yeah, exactly, Dick and Christine. The saying in medicine used to be, see one, do one, teach one, meaning doctors were learning on real patients because it was the only way. Now medicine is taking a lesson from flight simulators, throwing all sorts of crises at doctors in a lab, and you won't believe how realistic they are. Are you having any pain right now? Oh man, my chest is killing me. It's not quite the way you might see it on TV. The motor vehicle trauma victim is actually a super sophisticated mannequin, but the situation is very real. I'm just hurting, man. My left chest is hurting and my, my stomach is hurting. The victim's voice is coming from senior doctors who are throwing complications at the doctors in training. The mannequin's chest moves with breathing. His eyes blink. He has an EKG and blood pressure. Even the medications the doctors give have sensors in them that tell the professors what and how much is being given. The anxiety of the, and the pressure of the, the acute setting can sometimes cause you to not think appropriately. So now we've been able to recreate that environment and let you recognize that you do know how to approach that. And, and if you make a mistake, it's okay, and we're, we'll be able to teach you and, and guide you to what to do differently next time so the outcomes can be improved. This is a multi-million dollar training and simulation laboratory at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell. And not just for major trauma simulations, medical students learn basic suturing and knot tying. Others do basic laparoscopic surgery by moving blocks around. Okay, so take some deep breaths, please. Anesthesia residents practice the critical skills of putting difficult cases to sleep. Then there's the sometimes uncomfortable after-event evaluation. But the young doctors know and appreciate the value of these simulations. I already know if I see that again, this is what I should have done. Um, and no one got hurt at the end of the day, which is most important. And we're a little better prepared um, to see it in real life. These simulators are also used to evaluate residents, making sure they're skilled in basic techniques, that they have the hand-eye coordination they need before they're allowed to move on to more complex surgeries, for example. It's using state-of-the-art technology to advance medical education and make health care safer. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Better, better sound, way to learn. Yeah, sound effects completely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Dr. Thank Max. You.